Welcome back on this series of knowledge sharing sessions on SRA Demystified. In this session, I am going to talk about eliminating the toil. So, a quick recap who is SRA? SRA stands for Site Reliability Engineering. They really help manage complex infrastructure, services, everything of your organization to run highly in a highly reliable manner and now in this video let me talk to you about toil so what is toil toil is anything that is uh, is anything that is uh, manual repetitive automatable tactical devoid of enduring value and scales linearly as the service grows so you see this uh, simple picture. I, if, if at all I am able to write some code and then eliminate some work that is ongoing to a very minimal level that is really eliminating toil. Or you see here, my, I have been working, I have uh, writing code, but then debugging and then writing code. If that is what happening, we have to really look at are we doing the right things. So what is not toil? Toil is not just the work I don't like to do. For example, I may not like sending status to my manager on a weekly basis. Or I may not like attending the stand-up. If you think of that way, you can't say that because they are just considered as overhead because they are required for a smooth running of your organization, for your management to understand what is going on so that they can intervene and help us at times. So not everything is toil. There are overheads the which we should not consider as toil. So what is toil? Something that is manual. That means even running a script manually is actually toil. Can we automatically run that? If yes, that is good. Repetitive. Maybe a DB schema change that I am typing, that I am uh, handling or uh, some quota request that I need to deal with or even as simple as copy and pasting commands from a playbook to do something they are all repetitive automatable if you are able to make that accomplished through machine yes that is a toil tactical handling page alerts and no enduring value if your service remains in the same state after you have finished your task or that linearly grows in scale size traffic volume or user count so that is also a toil as I said some examples include handling quota request applying DB schema changes reviewing non-critical monitoring alerts copying and pasting commands from a playbook yeah any of these can be a toil which we can potentially eliminate or minimize how do we measure the impact of the work? Typically you ask these three questions. What type of work it is? Is it a push release to production or an ACL update? And what was the degree of difficulty? Was it very easy or a lot of days it took to complete the task and who did that work? One very good way of identifying toil is you survey your team. A few questions you can ask for example, averaging over the past four weeks approximately what fraction of your time did you spend on toil? How happy are you with the quantity of time you spent on toil? What are your top three sources of toil? How you have a long-term engineering project in your quarterly objective. Do you have a long-term engineering project in your quarterly objective? Etc. etc. So you identify the right questions so that your team will help you identify the toil in your team. And then you measure the toil. You can regularly compute an estimate of how much time is being spent on various types of work or look for patterns on trends in your tickets, surveys and on-call incidents response and prioritize based on the amount of time, human time spent on it. 
Now that you measure toil, let's try to eliminate it. Treat your automation like any other production system. If you have an SLO in practice, use some of your error budget to automate away toil. You should complete postmortems when your automation fails, just like any other production system, and see what went wrong. Can we do something to eliminate that? Yeah, you are good at it. The Bibles for SRE is still considered as the Site Reliability Engineering Book and the Site Reliability Workbook by Google. Both are free. I request all the viewers to go and have a look at it. And thank you.